Hey folks, like clockwork, it's been about six months since the last update video, so I think it's about time for another. Firstly, I want to catch up on some of the awesome items that were sent to my P.O. box throughout the summer. This particularly tasty looking resin printed energy crystal was sent to me by S.K. Brannon and now lives atop my computer while I work. Thank you for this. A similar gift was sent to me by Christian and it involves a battery powered lamp base as well. Really cool engineering here, thank you. Luke sent me a few parcels, some of which I can't even show you yet for fear of spoiling the surprise. There are a ton of rare parts in here that I'm excited to show off sporadically throughout future videos. Luke even wanted to send Slugger a lady friend too, I know he appreciates it. I also got a huge parcel of parts from Reese, but I'm intentionally resisting the urge to spill it out because I have some ideas for a future live stream involving them. If you have any other ideas on what to do with a mystery bag of bricks, be sure to let me know in the comments. Juniper sent me one of the most creative Rock Raider mocks I have ever seen, a shipping crate full of baby slimy slugs. And of course, the tunnel transport can carry it away using its magnet system. Wonderful. There were also other items I received as well, but I'm going to keep those cards close to my chest for now. If you want to send something to my P.O. box, I've posted the address in the video description. I have access to it until December 1st, 2024, so you'll want to make sure things are out the door soon. Recently, I made a video where I transplanted a modern LEGO set onto a traditional base plate. Folks were curious to see what the Cozy House 3-in-1 would look like given the same treatment, so here it is. I really love how this exercise cleans up the aesthetic and tightens the color palette of the model. For my money, this is a large improvement on an already great set. These photos, like all of my photos, are available for use in the Google Drive folder linked in the video description. I do this for all of my videos with the express purpose of allowing others to utilize them in their own ways. Recently, I've added a README text document to each folder explaining that these photos are public domain. You don't need to ask permission and you don't need to credit me to use them. Enjoy! I also made a guest appearance on a pair of podcasts recently. The first, Nerd Curios, hosted by Adam and Keenan, was all about Galador. These guys really did their research before having me on. Even I learned more about this theme by talking to them. The second podcast, hosted by Geo, was all about the creative process. I really enjoyed our discussion here, and I think there are a lot of valuable points brought up, if you're at all curious. I've linked both in the description below. So now comes the more distressing part of the video. I'm just not thinking about LEGO all that much these days. I still have certain big projects on the go, but as a whole, my interest in the hobby has waned more than it ever has while I've been our, our slugger. What does this mean? Am I burning out? Is this the end of RR Slugger? Actually, there's a really, really simple explanation for this. I've just been totally absorbed by another hobby of mine, Heroscape. At the end of the summer, Heroscape was relaunched under Renegade Game Studios after being out of production for 15 years. This was my favorite board game as a kid and it continues to be so today. For as large as my LEGO collection is, my Heroscape collection is even bigger. Yes, really. So as I've been playing more and engaging with that community, I've continued with the typical contemplative nature that I bring to all areas of my life. And, well, one thing led to another. <laughs> I started brainstorming ideas, writing scripts, and now I'm here to announce my third channel on YouTube, Slugscape. Now, before you ask, yes. Uh, the, the answer to all of your questions is probably yes. Is this a bad idea? Yes. Am I stretching myself too thin? Yes. Is this replacing slugging around and the main channel? Yes. Am I never gonna talk about LEGO again? Yes. Well, okay, probably no to those last two, but what can I say? Hero Escape is on my mind a lot right now and I wanna talk about it. 
I will say that if you ever needed proof that I wasn't in this for the money, well, here you go. No one chasing a quick buck would walk away from LEGO to talk about HeroScape. As a zeitgeist, HeroScape is nothing compared to LEGO. As a tabletop game, however, HeroScape is the best ever created, and you can quote me on that. It's easy enough for a kid to learn in 15 minutes, and yet has the capacity for a deceptively high skill ceiling, and facilitates strategic depth vast enough to keep a competitive scene alive and healthy for the past 20 years. I'm not expecting anyone to come follow me over there, but if you are curious, my first video gives an overview of how the game is played and what to expect from the channel. I'm still going to be me, but that stuff is geared for a completely different audience, so don't feel bad if you bounce off of it. It's not you, it's me. Well, with that utter bombshell out of the way, let's return to Mechtropolis once again. I had a few submissions pop up just after the buzzer, so let's take a look at them now. Thanks for staying tuned into the channel, everyone. There's still some time in 2024 for me to crank out a few more videos, and I'm curious for what 2025 is gonna look like as well. I hope you'll come along for the ride.